Hi, Cheryl Locke here for HotBlogTips.com. And in this video, I'm going to use Paint.net to show you how to make a very simple text watermark you can use on your videos or your images. When you've opened Paint.net, first we will go up to File and click New. Here we can pick a size. I prefer to use 250 by 40 for my watermarks. Now, as you can see, I have this tiny little 250 by 40 workspace. We're going to use white text to make our watermark, so I want to color this so I can see my white text. You can go over to your color board, pick any bright color you would like, go over, grab the bucket, click and paint your little box. Now that we have that colored, we're going to go up to the top to layers add new layer. Now this is actually putting a layer over our pink box. Now I'm going to go over and pick T for text. I want white text, so in my color box I click white. Here you can use any type of font you want. You can use any size that fits. We're going to make sure it's centered. I'm going to come down here, put my cursor, and click. Now I'm going to write whatever words I want on my watermark. Whoops. Okay, if you don't like your text, like I said, you can change it. Font, size. If you want to move it, you can just grab it and move it while you're still on there. Let's pick something a little bit more dramatic so that we can see the next step better. Okay, so here we go. We've got hot blog tips and white text. Next, I'm going to go up to effects. Here I'm going to go to object and outline object. You're going to get a box pop up and this is going to be able to outline your words. You can choose any color you want for your outlining. I'm going to use black. You can decide if you want it wide or narrow. So pick whichever one you think looks best for your watermark. Once you've decided, click OK. Now as you can see, this is very white and black. And that doesn't look much like a watermark. So what we're going to do is go up to the top to Adjustments all the way down to that bottom transparency. Here we're going to lighten it up a bit. It'll just depend on what you think you want. Do you want it to stand out and be bright white? Or do you want it a little less in your face? Once you've decided what transparency you think will work for your images, go ahead and click OK. Now as you can see, we have our transparent hot blog tips but we still have a pink background. To get rid of that background layer, we'll come over here to our little layers box and uncheck it. So that'll take away that background. Now we're going to have a transparent background. Now that our watermark is made, we're going to go up to File and Save As. I'll just title it Logo and we're going to save the file as a PNG so that the background stays transparent. You'll be asked to click a couple and flatten and so that you can see exactly how our new watermark looks. Let's bring up a big area to work with. I'll color it for you so you'll be able to see. Now to add your watermark to your images you're going to have your image here, which I hope is prettier than my blue box. You'll go to Layers, Import from a File. Go to the file where you've saved your watermark. And Open. Now here is the watermark we just made. You can move it, resize it, do whatever you'd like with it. So I hope that helps so that you can make sure you have all of your images and your videos watermarked and maybe keep people from stealing them or at least 
knowing your brand. Thanks for watching.